EEG um, thermoelectric generator. This is called the Lantern TEG. Designed to run off of various uh, camping equipment. Uh, this one will run off a of propane lantern. Uh, yeah, I guess I think it's on TEGpower.com. I'm not sure. He didn't put it in his brochure. Various devices you can run uh, the generator off of. Anything that will produce significant heat. And of course, in this case, I'm using the, the wood gas LE. This is the wood gas LE. I think I bought this off of Amazon as a link to it. Uh, and these are excellent stoves. And you have to remove the protective cover over the heat sink. And once you do that, uh, the modification I made was just to move the screw it came with and the wing nut back here so that I could mount it here. And then here's the uh, hose clamp and a couple of steel bars to make a, a pot holder on the top. And then this goes down to a um, 35 millimeter, which plugs right into the wood gas LE. This is my uh, LE uh, wood gas stove. I've been using this for uh, a couple years now with uh, powering it, powering the fan with a uh, power film uh, solar panel that charges. Uh, the two AA batteries, that gives it the three volts it needs. But I wanted to experiment with some of uh, the new um, technology that's out there. The, one of them is the uh, thermal electric uh, generators. And I bought this little one here. Now this is supposed to produce about uh, 5 watts at 5 volts. And that should give me about an amp power. And it comes with a 5 volt battery, which is dead right now. So I'm going to fire this up. I'm going to use wood pellets. There's plenty of oak around, but it's about 95 degrees, and I don't feel like going around chopping up some tree limbs right now. So I'm just going to use wood pellets for the test. Now the battery, the 5 volt battery, has been discharged. So once it comes up to speed, uh, it should power the uh, wood gas stove fan. Now the wood gas stove runs off of about uh, 3 volts from two AA batteries and this I'm going to be putting 5 volts in and the low end of it has a dropping resistor so it should drop a volt or two and not damage the fan. So I'm going to try to get this fired up see if the fan will come on once it starts generating electricity. It may take quite a while to fully charge the battery but the battery is mainly there just to stabilize the 5 volts as temperature varies in the stove. Now if you're not familiar with the uh, wood gas stove, they're a dual chambered gas stove that uses a dual burning process. You have the flame down at the bottom that's burning, but the wood fumes, the fumes from the burning wood will also catch on fire at the top. So the fan is going to inject air along the inside of the two cylinders here into the top ring and inject the hot air into the fumes and ignite them at the surface. So once this starts burning and generates enough heat, uh, it'll produce uh, two areas of burning, two surface areas of burning area. And it's very efficient. Um, and once the gasification process starts, it's very clean burning. But it's basically burning the fumes. Okay, what I found out was uh, you didn't need the battery at all. I'm running the uh, wood gas fire stove right directly off the uh, thermoelectric generator there, which is pretty cool. Uh, it takes probably a couple hours, maybe could take a 5 volt battery like this, could take 8-10 hours to charge. So the fact that it will run off of its own uh, own power like it's doing now is great. The wood gasification process has started in already. 
you can probably well it might be hard to see but it's injecting the uh, fumes the hot air into the fumes and igniting them I'm gonna put some water on here Pot handles. There. That is working pretty darn good. So I don't need uh, to have uh, the solar chargers at all. This uh, little uh, thermoelectric is uh, cheaper than the solar panels, too. And I can also use it to charge a lot of other devices. this down a lower speed the low speeds working too I thought maybe this 5 volts might be too much for the wood gas stove but it seems to work really well with it so I'm just afraid of uh, maybe damaging the fan at that high voltage but it probably can handle it pretty well definitely producing a lot more heat with that so it's basically self-powered now No battery at all involved in this now. It's just generating its own electricity for the hand off of the feet from the stove. Now what I did was I took the um, the pot holders that the LE gas stove off because it wouldn't accommodate the uh, thermoelectric generator. And I just put on a uh, hose clamp with a couple of bent bars just to make a pot holder. I've used those before; they work fine. They also can fold down out of the way if you're backpacking with one of these. It's been about five minutes. I got two cups of water to a boil already. You can see that's really putting out a lot of heat. Now I'm going to try running some other devices off of the stove now. Take this off. I think you can see the ring of fire coming from the top where the gasification process is taking place. Now this is the 5 volt battery the uh, thermoelectric generator came with. I'm going to have to find a way of keep charging this and trying to keep it charged to start with. Once it's fully charged, it's going to be uh, fine to run some other devices. The other devices I got are these uh, AA battery chargers. And I've got this cable I made up, the USB cable, so that uh, I can plug this directly in here power two devices so I can charge both of these or I could run the wood gas stove off of one of these and uh, charge a battery or this little USB light they have USB run fans uh, a whole number of uh, different items coming out now as well as charging laptops and other things uh, so this would be a way you could uh, cook your meal as well as uh, while you're doing that, could charge some batteries or run a light or fan or uh, charge a laptop, something like that, right off your wood gas stove. What I'm going to do now is to light the stove up, see how long it takes to produce enough electricity to uh, start the uh, fan up. going to take a while for the, uh, the thermoelectric generator to uh, get hot enough to produce electricity and until the fans going it's not going to generate much heat until the wood gasification kicks in so this might take five minutes or so to get hot enough to produce the uh, five volts I 
find the oak burns a lot better than the witch, witch uh, pellets do. Okay, the fan is starting to go on now. You can just barely hear it. Okay, the fan's going. I can put some. Water, I got two cups of water. So, I have 11. Let's see how long it takes to boil two cups. Okay, the fan's up to almost full speed now. Well, once the fire was going, it took about four minutes to kick, start kicking the fan on. It took about five minutes to get a good fire going in there. And now we're cooking. Much better. The oak's burning much better than the wood pellets. Burn my handles off here. Yeah. Water's come to a boil. Uh, just about three minutes now and it's just coming to a boil. That's two cups of water in three minutes. That's once the gasification process starts. Pretty good. And hear the uh, fan speed picking up as the uh, fire gets hotter. So, got my supply of electricity for my fan now. Well, that's about three and a half. Almost four minutes and it's really boiling now. Plenty hot. Okay, this actually works quite well. Surprise. I'm basically the uh, thermoelectric generator has the 3.5 millimeter, the same socket that the LE wood gas stove has. The voltage is a plenty good for running the uh, the wood gas stove fan. 
and uh, although when you first start up the wood gas stove without the fan on it takes a little while for the gasification process to start but uh, just the burning wood alone is enough to kick on the fan after about four minutes and like I say it's wood gas stoves are very efficient oftentimes I have to use the lower speed here try to tone the heat down a little bit because you can you know burn things in a fry pan pretty easily but this setup's working pretty good it's got uh, plenty of power to run the fans like I say that thing puts out uh, 5 watts at 5 volts the LE stove is only supposed to run off maybe 3 volts but it's running off the uh, USB uh, 5 voltage 5 volt voltage less than five minutes to boil water two cups about the fastest speed that's as good as any uh, stove you got at home any gas burner I'll take the water off now it'll bring down and uh, the oak is actually burning better than the uh, wood pellets let's see if I can take this off and show you how I mounted the uh, thermal electric generator to the uh, stove. I just took the screw that it came with and moved it down to the last position. And that slides right in there. So I didn't have to really modify anything. The hole was already drilled there. And uh, just put the washer uh, here at the parallel with the, where the can would go and it fit in there fine and it stayed there and again just some some steel rod and uh, put on a um, hose clamp to hold the steel rods on for my pot holder got rid of the original pot holder for, for the LE stove